Hi everybody, Julian here. Welcome back to my channel for a new Bible journaling process video. Here is a look at what I'm going to be using today and I'm very excited about it. Excited to be starting something new. So I'm going to be using these Homespun Alphas. I think they were designed by Becky Novak and I haven't used those more than twice so I'm excited to get to use them. They kind of inspired this project. I'm going to be using these Homespun Alpha stickers in black and then I'm going to be using those Illustrated Faith inks over to the left. And now I'm going to put my Bible journaling mat underneath my Bible to protect the pages underneath it. And the verse I'm working in today is Luke 12, 7. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a mask for my stamping today. I have a lot of inks out and I'm going to be doing a lot of stamping. So this is a brown paper bag that uh, some scrapbook supplies or uh, something like that came in. And I, am, I use that to stamp off some excess ink, but today I'm going to be using it as a mask. So I just freehand drew an oval on there to fit in the margin, and then I cut it out so that I could glue it down lightly and stamp around it. So what I'm doing here is I have an idea of what the big idea is that I want to pull out of this verse. And I knew that I wanted to spell out the word details with these alphabet stickers. So I'm just making sure here that the letter sticker is going to fit inside the oval and just kind of figure out the placement for how I want them. So once I determine that's going to be okay, I go ahead and uh, put them on the top of my mat and then get started. Now I'm using some of this Elmer's Dot Runner adhesive to put a thin amount of adhesive on the back of this. Um, paper and then it will easily come up from the Bible page. So you can see here that these that stamp right there has been used before. It's stained black. I used a stay on, stays on ink and I did stamp off the excess black ink but it still stained it which isn't a big deal. So I'm just making sure that there is no ink remaining on there. The first color I'm going to use is this beautiful aqua color that came in the very first Illustrated Faith kit with Dayspring. I have pretty good coverage on that stamp there and then I stamp off the excess and then I'm taking a baby wipe here just to make sure that I can get all of the color off of the stamp. Next I'm going to go in with another number 2 and you can see it's also been used before and I think I'm going to use this mustard color. I just want to make sure that if there's any residue on the stamp it's not going to stain the ink pad. So before I put it down my Bible page I simply stamped it on a scrap piece of paper. So now you can see where this mask is coming into play. I wanted to create a spot in the margin that didn't have any stamping where I could put stickers down and do my journaling. And so you're going to see me stamping around the mask and then off the page too. I think that when you stamp things off the page, it gives a better movement um, down the margin or your scrapbook page or whatever project you're working on. I just think that looks better than trying to squish them all in, in the one spot. So I'm just going I'm going ahead and stamping um, different numbers all over the place. I'm being sure to move the color around the page so that, you know, the pinks aren't right next to each other, the greens aren't right next to each other. And really what inspired this was the Homespun Alphas, and then I saw these ink pads next to each other in my bag, and I was like, oh, they really go nicely together. So I've kind of had this in my mind for a while, and I finally get to be able to share it with you. So because these are larger stamps, they have a lot more surface area than a normal stamp, I'm making sure to rub it on my finger, on my hand very well to kind of dirty the stamp so that it gives a nice, clean, crisp image and isn't so blotchy. So the Bible mat is perfect for this technique because I'm stamping off the edge of the page and the mat is there to catch the ink. And then I just am going to periodically wipe that off so that it doesn't get on the underside of the other page. And so while I'm stamping all these numbers around, I haven't told you yet why I'm doing that, I'm going to go ahead and read the verse to you that inspired this, this entry. And so Jesus is talking to his disciples and he says, Indeed, the very hairs of your head are all numbered. Don't be afraid, you are worth more than many sparrows. So since the very hairs of my head and your head and the disciples' head uh, are numbered by God, who loves us and cares that much about us, that's why I'm stamping all these numbers around. I realized towards the bottom I made a two-digit two number, the 11, and then I realized I didn't have any two-digit two digit numbers at the top, and I didn't want to just um, stamp down hair numbers 1 through 10 <laughs> so or 1 through 9. So I'm going back here and I'm creating um, some more two-digit numbers, and it also provides more color on the page, and I like the way that uh, that it comes out. I want to back up a couple verses here in Luke 12. Jesus is talking to his disciples and he's kind of warning them about the Pharisees and you know just be on your guard and he's saying don't be afraid of them. Do not be afraid of those who kill the body and after that can do no more. Are not five sparrows sold for two pennies yet not one of them is forgotten by God. 
Indeed, the very hairs of your head are all numbered. Don't be afraid. You are worth more than many sparrows. I think it's so cool that God drills down to that level with us. Uh, I love my son. I love my husband. But I have absolutely no idea how many hairs are on their scalp, let alone have them numbered. And I just think that's so amazing to think about and to be in awe of and to just want to like fall flat on my face and worship him. I mean, that's totally amazing. I mean, the sparrows are God's creation too, but they're not created in his image. And he's saying not one of these sparrows is forgotten by God. How much more valuable to him are, are we than they are? Uh, so that just that blows my mind. It really lets me know that God is in the details of our lives and he cares about us. And here is a, a wonderful example of how important we are to him and how much uh, he loves us. And the small things, the seemingly trivial things, sometimes I pray and I'm like, God, should I even be bothering you with this? And should I even, is this even worth mentioning to you? And I absolutely think it is. He cares about every aspect of who we are because we are his creation and we are created in his image. So that's what I'm basically going to journal here. So I use some stickers. I use the Homespun Alphas and then some smaller black stickers. I'm not sure exactly where they're from, but I spelled out the phrase in the details. And so I wanted to kind of emphasize that this oval shape and I kind of did it a little wonky and like went outside the lines, but it doesn't, it doesn't really bother me. Um, I wanted to uh, just kind of emphasize this circle. So because some of the ink is still wet, I'm going to use a scrap paper uh, so that I don't rest my hand in it and smudge it all over the place, which is something I would totally do. So I'm just jotting down basically uh, what, I, what I mentioned there. And then I'm looking at the page and I'm realizing that and I want a little more color. I want a little more of this aqua color down on the bottom left. And then I'm going to bring that beautiful green color from the Yes and Amen kit. I'm going to bring that up to the top left also. So now I'm realizing that um, around the words in the, I want a little something. So I grabbed the stamp from the List by Faith kit, but I just, I just wasn't sure about stamping it. I chickened out a little bit. So I grabbed my journaling pen instead, and I'm just going to create some dots around um, the alpha stickers here just to provide a little more interest because there's just this kind of weird trapped white space that I wanted to get rid of. That's pretty much going to do it. I went ahead and underlined the verse early so that I didn't forget to do that. I'm going to take my roller date stamp from A Beautiful Mess, stamp it in my stays on ink, and then put that down on the bottom of the page. And that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I am excited to share more of what God is speaking to my heart and finding in His Word. So be sure to check back in next Wednesday for a new Bible journaling process video. See you then.